Hey, so we got this really nice applewood smoke salt that just came in from Spiceology. And I thought what better way to showcase it than by doing a nice piece of lamb. So I'm gonna show you guys how to cook a lamb. It is applewood smoked salt. It's pretty nice. It's got a nice flavor. And uh, I thought what better way to do it than a really nice rack of lamb that I have here. And I guess I could show y'all who don't know how to break down a piece of lamb and cook it off. The way you can usually do it is sort of just trim off this fat and sinew, clean it up really nice, make the bones look good. But I thought I would just show y'all how to take off this loin portion, and then maybe we can make a really nice jus out of the bones. I thought that'd be really good. Then we'll sort of marinate it with this applewood smoke salt. It'll have a nice smoky flavor. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Well, we could sort of just pull off this like sinewy looking portion here. You don't even need to use your knife. You can use the back of your knife here. And as you can see, it's already starting to release the loin. Now we could sort of just follow this line here of the connected tissue and just run our knife down that bone. Just keep working your way down along the rack. Use that as your guideline. And it will slowly begin to release off of the rack. Now I also like to use a smaller utility knife for this. A big chef knife will not help you out it'll kind of get in the way and you won't be able to really get in there like you would with a more flexible utility like this. Sort of cut there. And there we have a really nice lamb loin. Now with this, I'm gonna just sort of trim off all this silver skin. Just sort of work, tip your knife under that silver skin. And then just tilting your knife upward like so. Just work your knife along the way. What you'll see here is the chain. You could just sort of disconnect that with the edge of your knife as well. You wanna take this out because all that connective tissue is pretty tough. And you don't wanna be chewing on that. So there's that chain muscle. We can go ahead and use this for our stock as well. Okay, there we have a really nice loin ready to go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that chain muscle, I'm gonna toss that into a skillet along with the rack, the bones here. This is just gonna go into an oven at around 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I wanna roast this off really hard and get some color. There we go, I'll just sort of sprinkle this on there. It's gonna be really nice smoky lamb. For those of y'all that love grilling, but you can't be outside right now, Maybe you can do this inside, get that smoky flavor. And hey, uh, you don't have to do this with lamb as well. I had it, I figured I'd show you all how to do it. You could do this with chicken or steak or whatever. Um, use the same method I'm doing now. Use the bones, make a nice stock. All right, now as you can see, we've got a lot of color on this rack and the bones. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this into a nice pot. Now you just wanna fill it up to the edge with water. Okay, now we're just gonna bring this up to a simmer, add some mirepoix, reduce it by half, and then we'll start our jus. If you saw my chicken stock and jus video, go check that out. If you haven't, uh, you'll know how to do this. So now we have a beautiful lamb stock to make our lamb jus with. Touch of canola, onions in. I'm cooking the onions off until they get a really dark color. Then we're gonna add in that stock to make a really thick jus. Go ahead and deglaze it with red wine. Now to add some smoky flavor to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Spiceology smoked black peppercorn. It's gonna add a nice smoky flavor to the demi. Just add a little bit of that, then we'll add some thyme here, a couple of sprigs. Now I'm gonna just add in that lamb stock. Now we're just gonna reduce this down by two thirds. It should be really thick. It should look like motor oil. Gonna throw the lamb on. I added some of that pepper.
Then I get a nice crust on here, cook it slow, not too high because we want the inside to cook as well. Go ahead and add in some butter. A couple sprigs of thyme. Now we're just gonna go ahead and baste this with the butter. Let it do its thing. You wanna get a nice glossy glaze on there. And then of course the herbs are gonna add a nice flavor. And then once you feel they're at the, about the temp that you want, like I like mine to be Mr. Mid-Rare, Mr. Go ahead and pull it off the heat and let it rest in its own butter. Now, since we're working with applewood smoked salt, I found it fitting to just throw in some apples in there. So we're gonna do some brown butter apples as a really nice little garnish. So I'm gonna toss this in the same pan that I did the lamb in. Add in a little more butter and then brown it. It's gonna be really nice. Now we have a really nice garnish to go on the lamb. Mmm, tasty. So here we have that smoked applewood salted lamb, crushed it with the smoked peppercorn. Then we have some brown butter apple and fennel with a really nice lamb jus to top it off. Thank you so much for watching the video. And like I said before, you don't have to do this with just lamb. You can do this with any sort of protein. Just follow the same steps. Change it up. It'll be tasty. Go ahead and check out these new smoked spices. They're really nice. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.